The next area we look at on the plane is the chip breaker. And the chip breaker is the piece that sits on top of the iron here. And its job is to break the shaving as it peels from the wood and also to give the blade good support at its tip. Now, if I refer to the diagrams, you can see that if the chip breaker doesn't meet the blade properly, this is an area that can cause a shaving trap, indicated there by the red arrow. So what we need to do in this instance is remove the chip breaker from the blade, and then again use the float glass to work this edge onto the abrasive. And what I've got here is an MDF shim. I'm going to use that up against the float glass. And then I'm going to run this edge. Yeah, the shim, by the way, is allowing me to drop the chip breaker down past horizontal slightly so I can achieve the right angle here. You may well have to play around with the size and width of this shim to get that angle right. And I'll also use the screw to run against. So I just need to work this up and down. You can use marker on that face as well if you want to, but it will be very clear what I've touched and what I haven't. And then I'll offer this back up to the blade and I'll retighten this and then I'll look at it carefully to make sure that chip breaker now seats well onto the blade. It's okay if it touches the very tip first. You don't have to have it touching at the back as well, but it needs to have no gap at this very point. Now the top edge of the chip breaker is also important here um, because this is where the shaving is going to uh, run and peel over. So what we can do there to improve performance is take the chip breaker and work it on the glass on this side. Make sure to not go too steep. The shaving should meet the chip breaker at around 45 degrees. But it's beneficial to have a point at here. If on your chip breaker you have a small flat, like indicated here by the red arrow, that is an area where the shaving can concertina up rather than flow over the chip breaker. So firstly work on the float glass and when you've got a tip then you can take some metal polish and you can really polish this edge up just to help the shaving glide nicely over the edge and that will make a real difference how the plane feels. Buff that off and that's ready to work with.